Hi, I'm Rob, and in this Gems of War video, I'm going to show you a really cool team that is demolishing this mouldy courgette. I see Zul Goth. What you're going to want to do is go to the shop and grab yourself a tier 1 for a start. This gives you the potion of enchantment. All your troops start enchanted at the start of each and every battle. More troops, more gold, more souls, more raid boss sigils. Very nice indeed. Now, tier 2 is important. This troop is already in the lineup of available um, troops, but Berengari, if you don't have it already, then grab this tier two, you get it guaranteed, and it is the God Slayer. Now, if you're short on stuff to build up your traits, then don't worry too much about that last one, God Slayer, that is only on skull damage. What is important is the spell, and you get that obviously automatically when you obtain this troop. Dealing magic-based damage to an enemy boosted by enraged allies. And Nithereboss deal three to five times damage based on your ascensions. And enrage a random ally. So when you get this thing powered up, you use your ascension orbs or just go further in tiers, you'll be able to get this powered up and do more damage. Um, tier three, you get a very good weapon. This is usable in this event. Very good indeed. I like this a lot. Ruthless defense. Uses purple and green, explodes magic plus one brown gems, grants a random status effect to all Urskaya allies, then summons a Urskaya troop. So the explodey summony weapon as I call them, I love these, so really, really cool. I'm going to get that in a minute because I've run out of gems because I spent a load of stuff getting stuff like pets and what have you. Never mind, we'll get that later on. All right, so, but the point is, if you don't have the weapon I'm going to show you in the actual... Uh, battle itself in the team then this is totally worth getting because the colors are purple and green it means we use all six colors in my team and you that is really good if you're a beginner or newer to the game the explosion of the brown is going to charge up the team you're going to get a status effect to everybody in the team and you're going to have a summon as well which is really useful in case things go wrong so let's go to the team itself team i've got right now is two times king mikhail berengari and trickster's shot this team kind of picks itself in a way. King Mikhail within my class trial video yesterday. Really, really cool troop. Gets enraged when you match Brown, which you do to charge him up. Explodes a row, dealing damage to all enemies and deals nine more damage if he's enraged. I mean, he gets enraged really easily just by collecting Brown. So we have two of them. Berengari is here. He has to be because he's the God Slayer. Can't miss out on that extra damage. Really, really cool. And a trickster's shot, like, as I said earlier on that other weapon we just saw in the in the shop, which you can get at tier 3. Really cool if you're a newer player, explodey, summony weapon. If you don't have that yet, then trickster's shot is a really, really cool alternative. Uses the same colours, purple and green. So combined with the red and blue here and the brown and yellow there, we use literally all the different colours. Really, really useful. Tricks to the shot, what this does, eliminates all armor from an enemy, deals magic-based damage, gains two magic boosted by armor eliminated. This is going to be really useful on those later levels when Zolgoth gets really, really tanky, just eliminating all his armor in one go, dealing damage, you can soften him up and then finish him off with your uh, God Slayer or King Mikhail, whichever works out best. Ian Sentinel class for this, really good class. 25% chance to go to bury a random ally at the start of my turn. Not too worried about the first couple, but Vanguard is really good. Quick study if you want more quick XP. Razor armor. Don't really want that because it adds 20% of armor to skull damage. So um, hopefully you won't, any, well, you won't be in a position where you're going to be dealing skull damage, basically, because that means most of your team is wiped out. Rock solid, super useful. Get a barrier when matching brown. Stone Mastery is good. Maybe Banishment later on if there's things like Enchant coming into the team and things like that and you can put a stop to that. And a Fortitude. Always cool. And Erskine Mage is not bad either. Alright, so uh, let's take a look at the banner for this. I don't think I've set this yet. Because we use all six colours, you just want to go for a good old plain plus two brown, I would suggest. Otherwise you're going to lose stuff somewhere. There we go, that'll do. Right, let's jump into the uh, battle then. I'll only show a few battles on these early ones and I'll jump forward to when Zulface appears and show how we deal with that mouldy courgette. All right, so let us go wallop in. It doesn't take long to 
get one of our King Mikhail's charged up. All right, I've jumped forward a little bit to where Zul Goth starts appearing, but one really important thing you'll notice about his spell is he kills an enemy, submerges, and enchants himself. So for this reason, we're going to make a little change to our team. We're going to go to Edit Team, go to Class, and in the Talent Trees, you're going to want to replace Stone Mastery with Banishment. Banishment dispels all enemies on four or five gem matches. That is really cool. What that means is if Zulgoth, Zulgoth does get to cast, then he's going to get enchanted at the same time and be ready to do it all over again. Just kill someone else a lot quicker than normal. Banishment dispels all enemies on four or five gem matches, meaning a four match basically takes that enchantment away. So that is very useful to have. We'll absolutely have that. We're going to get plenty of mana from this team anyway. King Mikhail explodes Rose dishing out loads of mana to the entire team, so we should be still good with this. But now Zulgoth has appeared, you want to start concentrating on taking him out as quickly as possible if you can. Still look to get our top troops up straight away. You want to be extra safe, you can concentrate on getting blue for your God Slayer. And kaboosh him out of there, you get loads of damage, there you go, on your bike son. And you can take pick off the others as you feel like it. King Mikhail does very good damage. You can put on Medals of Nysha to increase the damage of this. Every Medal of Nysha you put on, you're going to increase that damage by four. And four on this one as well. And four on this one as well. So the Medal of Nysha is really good for this. Just get a lot of benefit from it. Right, let's grab this because that is very nice for our team indeed. Grab that. Get a nice barrier every single time we collect it brown. So uh, you can just do this to gain mana for the team if you like. We don't actually need it right now. And just um, finish Zuli head off. Anybody would do right now. But later on it becomes a bit more tactical. I'll show you how you do that in a bit. All right, so I've moved on a few stages. Defeating the old Icy Zorgoth. Let's do the last couple, level 85. Still really straightforward with the combination of Trickster Shot and the God Slayer. Yeah, totally get our bear ready though, while we can. Might as well grab that for our God Slayer. Take out Zorgoth while you can. Do the extra damage. Kaboosh! If you don't say kaboosh, it doesn't do as much damage. Everybody knows that. And cast your angry bears back to back. Happy days on your bikes. If you're not going to wipe them out in one go like I did there, like I knew I was going to wipe them out with a back to back cast of my King Mikhail's, but if you're going to have to charge them again, then do pay attention to where you, you cast it for the Exploder Row. Make sure you pick up as much brown and, and yellow, for example, as you can when casting your King Mikhail. Nice and important to get him charged up really fast. Alright, should we get any... Oh, we can't get any more yellow or brown, so we'll just grab something else. Again, we'll grab our brown while it's there. Let's stay big purple. Loads there, but um, it doesn't matter for me, because I know I'm going to do this anyway, but do pay attention to to that, that mana surge would have been really good on purple. Except would have got your tricks to shot up, which means you can finish troops off. But this is still handy for dishing out damage to other troops, like the Valraven there. This eliminates all armor, deals a load of damage. They're going to survive just barely on one. That means a guarantee to pick it off with the Angry Bear. They survived! Surely some mistake. Right, let's do the last couple of stages and done. That's good because it'll be a level 100 Zorgoth by the time that comes around. Nice even number to finish up on. Let's dish out the damage to Zuli Boy while we can. Grab our yellow. Not much, not, not much brown going on at all here. But we can still pick people off with a trickster shot. Get the bears along and help finish them off. 
If anybody survives, we'll get them next time. Just a shotgun in handy again now, look, really, really cool. They had a summon, but they're on their way. All right, let's do this last stage. Level 100, Zul head. I mean, he hasn't got to cast yet, but like I say, that is a... Uh, got to watch out for that enchant himself if he does get to cast. That's why it's so important to take him out early doors with a combination of your trickster shot and or your god slayer, whichever you prefer. They're both going to do an awesome job. Like if you want to do it this way, you can, but um, I totally recommend the god slayer, especially if you've got it up to mythic level. If you haven't got it on mythic level, then it depends upon your game level, whether you're better off casting trickster shot or or this one or not. Ordinarily, because you're going to strip away the armor first and then still do a triple damage or whatever at least with this, then you could be better off casting your trickster shot first and then your Berengari. Right, let's um, get rid of... Let's soften them up. Let's do it this way around that. Gonna cast our bears anyway. And they're still gonna finish him off. But you've got halfway to being charged. Don't want him getting charged. We do it the other way around. We'll use our other troops to finish people off now, just just because we can. And they got a cheeky summon. This is where you can get your tricks to sharp again if you like. Because you're not gonna kill it with the angry bear. You want to get tricks to shot up first. I'll give him that skull hex. I'm feeling generous. Oh, tricks to shot just killed it outright. Fair enough. So we get that magic boost. Anyway, there it is. Um, really easy way to go about this raid boss. Still don't have enough stuff. Unless I pick up enough gems here, which I'm not going to, but hey, yeah. Yeah, but totally grab that weapon from the shop as well. Really, really good weapon. Love it. Uh, explodes brown gems, gives a random status effect to the whole team in this case, and has a summon. Love the explodey summony weapons. But there's a video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to bash that like and subscribe button. It really does help. But most of all, thanks for watching. I'll catch you again next time. Bye for now.